July 25th to the 27th, we'll have the 10th annual BRICS Summit in Johannesburg, South Africa. It's going to bring together leaders of Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, but also others like Erdogan from Turkey who will be invited to discuss uh, security and trade uh, affairs. This will be particularly notable because even though in years past the BRICS summits have been mostly a talking shop full of uh, memorandums of understanding, this particular context is notable because you have the ongoing uh, escalation, uh, trade escalation between China and the United States. And it, what's interesting with regards to the BRICS members is that they are all either under sanctions or experiencing a rise in tariffs from the United States. So again, this is a very interesting context to track this uh, 10th annual summit in Johannesburg next week. On July 28th and 29th, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abi Ahmed will be in the United States where he will discuss with members of the Ethiopian diaspora the ongoing reforms and economic liberalization occurring in the 100 million strong uh, landlocked Horn of Africa giant. Uh, since coming into office in early April, the new Prime Minister has initiated a number of surprising uh, reforms that are engaged or designed to open up the Ethiopian economy. And part of his journey to the United States is going to be to encourage additional investment from the dynamic Ethiopian diaspora. On July 29th, Mali will have its first round of its presidential election. It will be the first election since 2013 in the wake of France's intervention in northern Mali to stabilize the country. Uh, militancy has increased in Mali in recent years despite France's best efforts and those of the international community. And questions over whether or not Bamako can pull off a free, fair, and credible election persist.